see, this is what our artist has been working on today, the theme Scottish superheroes. It looks to be a tenant's tea, very Scottish indeed. And here's the man at work himself. He's not very excited to be on camera. I'm thrilled. Don't worry, there's only two people watching. Hi mom, hi dad. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you like to would you would you like to say a little bit about uh, what you're currently working on as this challenge? Um, but the idea of superhero was quite intriguing because uh, superhero obviously brings to mind you know your Superman, your Wonder Woman, your Batman's and all that. But what people actually worship, what people look for, look up to, and uh, really like are more, more symbols. You know, I think it's very cheesy the old Batman sort of said, you know, it's more symbol what he stood for as opposed to what he was. And something like what I'm working at the moment is the, a version of the saltire, and which I would it can be said is is something that the Scottish people do worship. They they hang it proudly, they wave it proudly, and uh, you know, if you try to take it away from them, then they, they would get very angry. Um, so I would say class, class with a Scottish superhero in his own respect. I only hope I can do it justice in some sorts. And you had no idea really what materials you were going to have available when you got in here, did you? Absolutely none. I came up with this idea about an hour ago. And uh, I'm just making it up as I go along, like all good art. So did, what did you find most interesting about this challenge of not having not knowing what your materials were going to be and then having this kind of time limit as well. Oh, I, I, you know, I like working within limitations, like this concept and my uh, restrictions. I think it's much, it's, it puts the arts under a bit of pressure, but I think that's a good thing because it, um, you, put the, you, know, uh, you put your nose to the grindstone and you really see what you can come out with as opposed to letting things linger and perhaps altering ideas over time. You can just see what they were in their original form, which I think is, is exciting to do. Thank you so much, and we'll be excited to see what you uh, your final product is. So we're gonna we're gonna watch you work. I'm gonna get up close. I'm gonna get in your face now, or in your in your brush strokes. In my brush strokes, I'm gonna get in my face. So you've used. I'm just gonna. I'm narrating things. So you've got fabric that you've found down here that we had. And mm. different mixes of paper, also yeah. recycled plastic from uh, plastic packaging, and some of the cardboard that we've had down here. 